Math 5 Quarter 4 Week 5 Milk Base Let's learn about Reading and measuring temperature with problem solving Hello kids, it's me, Teacher Frell Don't forget to subscribe Like and share and hit the notification bell for the latest video you can also follow my facebook page teacher frel tv welcome back kids for today's lesson in math 5 we will discuss about reading and measuring temperature with problem solving for most essential learning competencies after going through this lesson, you are expected to read and measure temperature using thermometer, alcohol, and or digital in degree Celsius, and solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature in real-life situations. Temperature plays a crucial role in medical care both humans and animals, food, beverages, and agriculture. Our overall health is often reliant upon temperature in many ways as well. Temperature is the hotness or coldness of a body or object. It can be expressed in degrees Celsius. In this lesson, you will be able to read and measure temperature using a thermometer and solve routine and non-routine problems involving temperature. A thermometer is an instrument for measuring temperature. A unit for measuring temperature is the degree Celsius. Here are parts of thermometer. Glass tube holds the glass bulb. Glass bulb contains the ethanol. Scale tells how far the ethanol rises and goes down. Ethanol, liquid inside the bulb which rises when hot and goes down when it is cool. A thermometer consists of a glass attached to a glass tube with a number scale. The liquid in the bulb rises or drops when temperature changes. The ethanol rises when hot and goes down when it is cool. The normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius and the freezing point is 0 degrees Celsius. Each space in the number scale represents 1 degree Celsius. The numbers below 0 are written with a minus sign. To read a thermometer, find the level of the liquid or the ethanol. Example number 1. What is the temperature being shown? Look at the thermometer. Correct! The answer is... 48 degrees Celsius. Example number 2. Emmanuel is not feeling well after their trip to Laguna, so his mother used a thermometer to measure his temperature. The normal body temperature of a person is 37 degrees Celsius. Observing the thermometer, how many degrees is Emmanuel's temperature higher than the normal body temperature? Here is the solution. It is shown from the temperature that Emmanuel has a body temperature of 38.4 degrees Celsius. Since the normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius, we have to subtract 38.4, which is Emmanuel's temperature, minus the normal body temperature, which is 37. 38.4 minus 37 equals... 1.4 Therefore, Emmanuel's body temperature is 1.4 degrees Celsius higher than the normal temperature. 
And now, let us proceed for our first activity, Learning Task 1. Read the temperature shown in each thermometer. Number 1. What temperature is shown in this thermometer? Very good! The answer is 0 degree Celsius. Number 2. What temperature is shown in this thermometer? Very good! The temperature is 100 degree Celsius. Number 3. What temperature is shown in this thermometer? Very good! The temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Number 4. What temperature is shown in this thermometer? Very good! The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And for number 5, what temperature is shown in this thermometer? Very good! The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. For learning task 2, choose what you think is the temperature of the following. Number 1. Hot water. A. Negative 10 degrees Celsius. B. 30 degrees Celsius. Or C, 70 degrees Celsius. What is the correct answer? Very good. The correct answer is letter C, 70 degrees Celsius. Number 2, a person with fever. A, 30 degrees Celsius. B, 35 degrees Celsius. Or C, 40 degrees Celsius. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C, 40 degrees Celsius. Number 3. Ice cold tea. A. 10 degrees Celsius. B. 20 degrees Celsius. C. 40 degrees Celsius. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter A, 10 degrees Celsius. Number 4. Bread in oven A. 40 degrees Celsius B. 100 degrees Celsius C. 250 degrees Celsius What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. 250 degrees Celsius And number 5, ice candy A. 100 degrees Celsius B. 35 degrees Celsius C. 0 degrees Celsius What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is letter C. 0 degrees Celsius For learning task 3, use the facts in the table to solve the problem. Element, gold and lead. The melting point of gold is 1064.4 degrees Celsius. And the lead is 327.5 degrees Celsius. Question, how much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold than the temperature needed to melt lead? For the first question, what is as in the problem? Very good! The as in the problem is, how much hotter is the temperature needed to melt gold than the temperature needed to melt lead? Second question, what facts are given? Very good! The facts given are, melting point of gold is 1064.43 degrees Celsius and lead is 327.5 degrees Celsius. Third question, what operation will be used? Very good! The operation to be used is subtraction. Number 4. How is the solution done? Very good! The answer is, you have to subtract 1064.43 degrees Celsius minus 327.5 degrees Celsius. The answer is 736.93 degrees Celsius. And for fifth question, what is the answer? 
Very good! The answer is melting gold is hotter of 739.93 degrees Celsius than melting lead. For learning task 4, letter A, tell if the statement is true or false. Number 1. Bea has a fever. Her temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is false. Number 2. The water is boiling. Its temperature is 100 degrees Celsius. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is true. And for number 3, people feel comfortable when the temperature is 48 degrees Celsius. Is it true or false? Very good. The answer is false. For learning task 4, letter B, solve the following problems. Number 1. The temperature at Gatid, Santa Cruz, Laguna at 1 o'clock p.m. was 32 degrees Celsius. Between 1 o'clock p.m. and 5 o'clock p.m., the temperature dropped 3.2 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature at 5 o'clock p.m.? To find the answer, subtract 32 degrees Celsius minus 3.2 degrees Celsius. The answer is 28.8 degrees Celsius. This was the temperature at 5 o'clock p.m. Number 2. How many degrees is 26 degrees Celsius lower than 48 degrees Celsius? Which of the two is the colder temperature? So, we have to subtract 48 degrees Celsius minus 26 degrees Celsius. The answer is 22 degrees Celsius. 26 degrees Celsius is lower than 48 degrees Celsius. So, 26 degrees Celsius is the colder temperature because it is lower of 22 degrees Celsius. Number 3. A freezer is set at 0 degrees Celsius. Corina reset to 8.5 degrees Celsius. Did the temperature in the freezer rise or drop? By how many degree? The answer is, the temperature in the freezer rise to 8.5 degrees Celsius since Corina reset it. For the assessment, A. Shade the thermometer based on the indicated temperature. For number 1, 20 degrees Celsius. So the shade is 20 degrees Celsius. Number 2, 97 degrees Celsius. The shade is 97 degrees Celsius. And number 3, 15 degrees Celsius. And the shade is 15 degrees Celsius. For letter B, solve the following problems. Number 1. If the temperature at 11 o'clock in the morning is 28.5 degrees Celsius and became 32.7 degrees Celsius, what was the average temperature? First, let's add 28.5 degrees Celsius plus 32.7 degrees Celsius. The answer is 61 degrees Celsius. Now, divide 61 degrees Celsius by 2. The answer is 30.6 degrees Celsius. So, the average temperature is 30.6 degrees Celsius. Number 2. Linus' temperature this morning was 38.2 degrees Celsius. After 3 hours, his temperature was 39.5 degrees Celsius. Did he get better or worse? How many degrees did his temperature rise? So the answer is, Linus' temperature get worse because it rise to 39.5 degrees Celsius from 38.2 degrees Celsius. It was rise up to 3.2 degrees Celsius. So kids, do you understand our lesson for today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!